Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time tuning in, welcome to All Things Delicious. Today on Brave Belly, join me as I celebrate 10,000 subscribers. That's right, I hit 10K. Woke up this morning, looked at my YouTube, boom, 10,000. Huge milestone. Would never in a million years imagine that this day will actually come. And it's been a wild ride, been a nice six months. I appreciate all the love you guys have been showing me and giving me all the positive comments down below. Guys, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Without further ado, let's get the show on the road. So today, we're gonna be celebrating with this Reese's cake, okay? Reese's ice cream, uh, premium peanut butter, ice cream cake. You know, Reese's is the most popular candy in America, believe it or not, you know, chocolate candy. And so, why not chocolate cake, okay? This has been super popular. I've been seeing it around for over a year now. It's been almost in every supermarket. Uh, it costs about $21, $20 and some odd cents, so 21 bucks. And uh, yeah, it looks delicious. So we're gonna get cracking right into it. Look, I'm supposed to open it by pulling it. Of course, I already messed up, but it is what it is. We're here for the food. Okay, so this is how it looks. It's very, very pretty box. Look at that, very appealing, eye grabbing. Okay, colorful. It says keep frozen until ready to use. Defrost in refrigerator for 20 to 30 minutes before servings. Okay, I didn't do that. I bought it, brought it home, and here we are. Okay, calories, 260 calories, nine servings per container. So if you do the math on 260 times nine, that's 200, 2,340 calories. So not a lot, okay? I was surprised. That's about how much a grown man should eat, you know, a large size man in one day. So yeah, it's a lot of calories for one sitting. However, as far as cake is concerned, you know, it's not crazy. And the reason why it's not the hugest cake, wow, but it is definitely very pretty. Look, it slid over, but that's okay because we're gonna eat it, okay? This is not for a birthday. This is for a 10K celebration. So no candles needed, okay? Looks phenomenal. Now I have seen other YouTubers eat this Reese's cake. However, it's completely different. Okay, their cake looks like an actual upside down Reese's peanut butter cup and they use dark chocolate or like maybe not dark, but just slightly bitter chocolate on the outside. And of course, Reese's on the inside. So when I've seen this one, I was like, wow, is this a new item? Guys, let me know below if this is new because I've never seen this anywhere, okay? So it uh, looks like we have some kind of uh, peanuts on top. Obviously, we have some kind of frosting on the outside, but we're gonna just try the whole thing, you know, not little pieces of it. I got a plate. Of course, I got milk. How can you eat ice cream cake without milk? That I do not understand, okay? Big old glass. This is my first meal of the day. I actually just got finished with the gym. Had a nice shoulder and arm workout. And uh, well, I had a protein before I went to the gym just so I wasn't training on an empty stomach. And so this is my post-workout meal, okay? Let me uh, put this box aside, okay? So this is what we're gonna be feasting on, all right? Looks absolutely beautiful. Now they say nine pieces. That must be like nine small pieces. Okay, so I, I definitely sense it definitely isn't completely melted. It's definitely hard on the inside somewhat, but it's soft on the outside. Look at that. Really, really decadent looking, pretty cake. Okay. I like, mm, for all my knife lickers out there, mm, I'm definitely part of that club. You know, I'm not scared. All right, so first we got a modest little slice, okay? And uh, here we go. Yeah, see, it's a little hard still, but that's good. Okay, so we do have a filling with like little bits of uh, Reese's in there. 
Mm. Wow. Okay. Off top, exactly the flavors I'm getting. Strong peanut butter. However, the ice cream is actually a mild, like rich milk chocolate, okay? And the inside has peanut, actual peanut butter in there. You see that? You see that peanut butter? And you know Reese's peanut butter. I believe that's why it's one of the most popular um, candy bars because it's really rich and delicious peanut butter. Mm. Really, really good. Re so I can see why this is popular. For 20 bucks, you know, and it's, you're not getting a surprise in there. As, as far as like you're... You kind of have an idea of what this is going to taste like. Mm. Wow. I'm just going to keep going, guys. Wow, because this is definitely delicious. Here goes another beautiful slice. Look at that. All chunky. That looks good, huh? Mmm. Oh yeah, we got chunks of peanuts, we got peanut butter. I mean, this is definitely got a lot going on. And to me, that's very important, okay? When stuff has layers to it, you know, when there's depth. Mm. Now, I would say the outside is my favorite part. A lot of times people usually like set the top part aside because it has a lot of cream on it and for me that's usually my best part mm. i like desserts that are very creamy not not everybody's a fan of like creamy desserts but i always love it took a little surprise inside you know mm. very very good guys I do recommend this. And now I did have the Oreo and I was definitely thinking that this would never compete with the Oreo. Just because the Oreo is basically, um, it's like chocolate chip, you know? And chocolate chip is very popular. You know, it goes so great with ice cream. Mmm. But this absolutely competes, okay? Especially with the peanuts on top. And I gotta say, they're almost like brown sugar and peanuts. It's hard to explain, but you're definitely not crunching on, on chunks of um, peanuts. It almost like melts in your mouth. So this is actually not peanuts, but more like how can I explain it? It just melts in your mouth, okay? It's like a sugary substance. Mmm, very good. And now the inside, now the inside, I'm starting to get more. I feel like the way the cake is made, it's slightly offset. Like the filling is not dead center of this cake. It's a little like off to the side. So when you cut it down the middle, you, some pieces you might get very little of the stuffing and the other side of the cake, being that it's offset, you'll get more. And I'm starting to get more, okay? Doesn't seem so, but I see it when I'm cutting it. And the inside is actually has a dryness to it, okay? It's like a crumble. And the good thing about that is it's offsetting all the ice cream. So you have, see, that's actually not ice cream. You know, what dripped off is, but the rest is kind of like a, a powdery mix of like a dry peanut butter, you know, like the PB2 and bits of chocolate. I'm gonna mix that with some ice cream. Mmm. Yeah. It offsets it. So I'm, I'd be willing to say that this is the new updated version of the Reese's ice cream cake. Because, like I've said, I've seen other YouTubers eat, the, eat this cake, and it looks completely different. And it seems like it's not as 
layered, you know, not too many things going on. Mmm, has that crunch of the uh, bits of chocolate. Mmm. And before, when I was describing the Oreo cake, I mentioned chocolate chip. Yeah, I wasn't meaning chocolate chip. What I meant was cookies and cream. And you know how amazing cookies and cream, it's like a classic staple ice cream. It's always delicious. And so I thought this wouldn't compete. And it absolutely does. This is a pleasant surprise. See, that's kind of the drier part, the inside. So good with the with the ice cream. Mm. And the amazing part of this ice cream, it's even for people who aren't huge fans of chocolate. Reason being, it's super mellow. It's like a Wendy's frosty chocolate. So bomb. Mm. Wow. Let me slide this over. It's literally coming down on my table. All right, now we're just gonna get a bigger piece, okay? Mm. Now, this piece right here, watch, I'll show you guys, has more of that filling that I was talking about. Mm. Ooh, living dangerous. Mm. That's risky. Mm, but that's what I'm about. I'm a risky man. Oh, see how dry that is? But that's actually, like I said, phenomenal with all this. So together, I definitely recommend this. Mm. This gives the Oreo cake a run for its money. They're equally good. It's, it's definitely surprising that these ice cream cakes taste as good as they're presented on the box. See how appealing this is when you look in a fridge full of ice creams? In my opinion, it's very appealing. It's very eye-catching and grabbing. Both the Oreo and this one. And they live up to the hype. For real. Mm. For 20 bucks. Ooh, we got like this little surprise in there. I got a big old piece of peanut butter in there. You can't really see it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Really, really, <clears throat> really good. It's funny, I was watching a YouTube review yesterday, last night, of this cake. Cause I just wanted to see about it, you know? And there was, a gentleman doing his first YouTube video. Oh man, it was hilarious, hilarious. It was entertaining. First of all, it was his first attempt at a food challenge. This poor man opens the cake and as soon as he starts eating, literally like, I don't know, two minutes in, like maybe five spoons. First, he starts off strong, talking about, oh, food challenge. Oh, you know, I'm gonna eat this whole cake. This poor man, you could just tell from him starting to eat, the way he's eating, zero chance. Just eating so slow. And not only slow, but it's not going down. You see him chewing, chewing, but it's not getting swallowed. It's just forever in his mouth, almost like it's growing in his mouth. Hilarious. And then he, whoever was filming, I believe his wife, he said, like, oh, you want some? And I'm just like, you want some? I thought you were doing a challenge, bud. So that was hilarious to me. It was really entertaining. You know, seeing the contrast of how some people just don't have that appetite. And believe you me, it's definitely a gift and a curse. It's an absolute gift because I could have this YouTube channel. I'm not faking it. I'm not chewing, editing, and spitting out in a bucket, which people do, and that blows my mind. 
for some reason, you know, to each their own, but I could never do that. It just seems so fake. I'm not that type of person, but it is what it is. Oh, and the other thing this guy said, you know what he called this Reese's Pieces? Reese PC. I was like, what? It was like the most cringiest thing I could hear. So cringe. Reese PC, do you guys call it that? Now, like I said, to each their own, but I mean, it does say Reese's, okay? Reese's, say it with me now, Reese's. It ain't Reese PC. Mmm. Now, as far as food challenges go, I'm not a fan of those either personally because I like to enjoy my food. I don't just like to inhale it so much where it's a challenge where I'm actually not savoring the flavors. To me, that feels like work and food is something that should be enjoyed and pleasurable. You know what they say, you know, variety is the spice of life. And food is one way to, a huge way to experience that variety and that pleasure and sharing it with people. That's why I'm so grateful to be sharing these meals with you guys. You know, definitely, definitely happy that I've reached this milestone for me of 10K. You know, my next milestone is 20K. I definitely want to grow this channel and be able to do this full time. Believe it or not, that's my dream. I, I really strongly in my heart of hearts believe that this will happen sooner than later. This year, I'm stepping my game up and going to post more videos. Mm. Now you see this delicious mess I have here. I'm not worried about it. I will clean it up. Mm. But you know. Sometimes these things get, could be messy. Mm. Very, very pleasant surprise, guys. Wow, I haven't even drank the milk yet. You know, this is so moist, obviously, because it's ice cream. Mm. There's really no dough or batter that you have to wash down. So good. All right, guys, last piece. Of course, I finished an entire cake. I wasn't really planning on doing the whole thing, but I figure, you know, if it goes down easy, why not? And it definitely went down very, very easy. Like I said, this is 2,340 2, calories. So that's definitely enough food for today. Oh, I'm gonna try to fast for the rest of the day. If you could even call it that, since I eat so much, I will get hungry by dinner, but I'm gonna hold off. Mm. Guys, thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, you know, I'm truly feeling blessed. Thank you so much for liking what I do. And you guys are basically showing me how much you like me because I'm not acting, I'm being genuine. And so with that being said, um, it definitely touches my heart. So thank you very much. Mm, last bite. Guys, thank you very much. Um, please recommend foods that you would like for me to try in the comment section. I will leave a link also down below for when I first hit my 5,000 K and I ate the Oreo cake. That's um, also a good cake. So if you guys like um, different cakes, you know, I recommend you watch that video. Mm, it's delicious. And I'll also leave a link to a video I made of all the Reese's products that are available here in America at the time I, when I made the video. This is the only product I didn't review back then. And obviously the reason is because I wouldn't have room to eat um, all those products and the cake. 
And so now this is the perfect opportunity to do that. Guys, once again, thank you so much for coming with me along on this journey. Uh, thank you so much for um, subscribing. If you haven't, please subscribe, hit that like button. Um, till next time, signing off. Cheers, my beautiful people.